on the YouTube don't go. This is week nine of Fade Up You and now Man in the Gates Paul McCartney and the Beatles inspiration food sing it the hard day's night. Ellie Tuggy Mueller Ha Welcome to Week Nine of Fit My Little Grasshoppers I am Ellie Tuggy Mueller, the man who might be responsible for trying to bring the Beatles back together. And again, we don't know because uh, John Lennon uh, passed away, but whatever. Tonight, shout out to our Ace Red, Mark Jeff Fanatic, Harvey Oak Fanatic, Super Coach Fanatic, and We Can Go Get. That's right. One channel is made for streaming, one channel is made for uh, family movie intros and stuff like that, and the other three are made for cars and monsters and stuff like that. Come on. Alright? And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is. The man who served. Let me get this straight, all right? He served for many, many years as as the I writer did none for. Of the such. Okay, whatever. He is responsible for creating a tribute group to the Beatles. Okay, I'm just uh, joking here, but what do you do? It's a comedy show. Adam, you were. All right, tonight we are talking about Paul McCartney. Now, before we get to that, I just want to say one thing. I ap we apologize for last night's uh, show, not having any commercials or things like that, but the power director uh, failed on our part. Hopefully, it'll Feels work. Bad man. Hey, hopefully it'll work uh, tonight. But anyway, we're talking about Paul McCartney, and he's still doing huge things. Now, I thought he left the uh, show business 15 years ago. He did. Now, it's something odd. He's on the music charts again. He's back on top of the music charts. Good job, Paul McCartney. Now, does that mean that the Beatles are being recreated? Yep, by John Singer. Oh, boy. Now, he has a new song out. It's called Egypt Station. I built a, wear a road raid to Egypt. Now, here's the weirdest part, all right? Trains don't go to Egypt. And there yes, are no train do. stations in Egypt. Yes, they are. You just didn't did look hard enough. Oh, boy. In Egypt, there are now, there are Sphinx. There is, a, there is a Sphinx there. There are Sphinxes or whatever. And there is, you know, uh, a mummy or two. Actually, there are plenty of mummies. And I mean, real life. Oh, uh, toilet paper uh, filled mummy. Pretty sure, pretty sure they didn't have toilet paper back then. Whatever. I mean, come on. That song, you know, that is, that is parody worthy right there. It is. Speaking of a parody, it's time for a top eight. Top eight list, here we go. Way. My category is top eight things that, that Paul McCartney will never do. Number eight. <laughs> number eight. Beyond the bow. N number seven. Bring the battle back together. Wait. The Beatles. Yeah, when did the Beatles die? Oh, uh, yeah. Number six. Perform on Maury. Number plus eleven, Eli. Number that six. Wait. Yeah, number the five. This is the growing stand. Number the four. Grow a bird. <laughs> Be a number three. Sing a country song. Number two. Retire because you know. Yeah, you just have to work until you freaking die. And number one. Sing in the rain because it's a rainy day. Alright, we shall return after this violent night and these commercials. Fucking check it out. Fucking scratch it off. Hey. Bumper and that the uh, Empire uh, Cup is really warming the heart of us. 
just in time for us, huh? Thank you. Whoa, he looks like a white person. Thing is about what the fifty seconds or something like that. Yeah. Like when do we go to a commercial? Like four forty-five or something like that. Really? Really? Hmm. You guys are gonna say okay, I'm well, you're gonna leave me there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Hello. Go. Let's go. Calm down, you two. All right, seriously. Let's do this. Welcome back. Welcome to China. In in China, we're gonna talk about Paul McCartney because he. Has some petard feet. Whatever. Now, take a look at this, alright? You know, his first number one hit, you know, as a solo artist, is was a Tug of War. And that was back in 1982. But was he the Tugger of Wars? No. However, however, listen to me carefully, he is responsible. For the Beatles, and you know, uh, now do you folks remember the Beatles, or do you know uh, who the Beatles are? I'll tell you. They're this uh, English rock band that formed in Liverpool in 1960. Okay, and that means that they were pretty good. Okay, now uh, they are uh, pretty good, but they became great in 1964. When they became, uh, when they ended up being on the Ed Sullivan Show. And that's when everything went, went uphill, and, and everybody and their fucking mothers loved them. Right. And, and they went from just being, uh, being only known in the United Kingdom, to being well known all over the world. They became international stars. Like, like I said, they reach the point of stardom. I'm trying to rap, but I can't rap. Feels bad. Anyway, what, what, what we're trying to say here is, he was pretty good. Right now, here's the thing. All right, they only, uh, they only worked together for ten years, and then they broke up in 1970. Well, to well to be fair, if they were twenty, if if they when they met each other, then they they'll be third thirty. Well, look at this, all right? You know, uh, there are two living uh, Beatle members. I know. Ringo Starr, of course, and uh, Mr. McCartney for mentioning now. You should say McCartney, of course, and then Ring Ring Ringo Starr. Whatever. All right. Uh, there were what. Uh, Two people uh, who died uh, from the Beatles, obviously. Feels First one, uh, it was John Lennon, who uh, who got shot in December of 1980. Feels and then the bad. other one uh, was Mr. George Harrison, who uh, who died uh, 21 years later. Almost uh, on the same day. Because of cancer. God damn it, cancer. Feel cancer. Now, getting back to Paul McCartney for a second, all right? Soon after... Uh, the Beatles woke up. Paul McCartney started uh, producing his own uh, stuff. He started singing his own songs, right? This one right here, Egypt Station, could enter uh, next week's uh, list. Or actually, this no, week's list. Don't, 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 don't worry, because he will never die. Because we are in the meme. Now, let's take a look at uh, the lyrics. For uh, Egypt Station, and here we they go. make this. Here we go again. Yeah, well, we gotta do it sometimes. I am the spy. Good day to you. Did you forget about me, Pickaboo? Re repeat after me. You are terrible. Now look at me, unfreaking touchable. Okay, now um, let me see here. Uh, Egypt Station. Oh, it's an album. It's an album. He said he liked the words Egypt Station. It See? reminds me of the album albums we used to make. You, you, you know you know what? Can I ask y'all a question? What the fuck is a 
I don't know their if I don't know lyrics. You you have a fucking song called I don't know, and 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 right by it is fucking lyrics. Wow. Yep. Now that I uh, see this, I think I say to myself, you know, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Let let me march march you the song. Yeah, 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 right. Sleep tight. I'll take the stain. Yeah, you're fine. Do you love mine? You don't feel no pain. I got crows. I got king crows. <laughs> now, I don't mean the thing, right? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't just go by uh, Paul McCartney anymore. No, he goes by Sir. Paul McCartney, because he has been knighted by the Queen of England. Just really? Just Sir Elton John. Kill yourself. But did y'all know that Sir Paul was actually part of the 45th Division of World War Six? Well, whatever. You know what's uh, really odd about the what? whole thing? Apparently, you know, uh, Paul McCartney has gone from being, you know, Despacito uh, to no, no, no. He went from being, you know, this cool guy, you know, from the Beatles. Walk on, mate. Walk on. Stop. So, Freaking stop. So now, just really, you've been knighted by the Queen. That's still an achievement. Well, actually, yes, yes. Bow down to Sir Paul McCartney. No one go go going going to bow to bow down. I'm just saying. Good 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 job. Good good on you. But can you do this? I bet not. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, also, by the way. Also, by the way. You know, uh, don't uh, think of. Uh, Oh, sirs, uh, madam, wait, even though sirs and madams are good titles, you know, and although you could give uh, him uh, a little bit of, re you know, you could give him some respect, you got to remember who gave birth to all of us, right? I mean, you got to remember who created all of us in the first place. I think we know who. All right, folks, that's the show for tonight. I'll see y'all tomorrow. That's the news. I'm out. Peace. Farewell. Bye. Farewell.